Day, which sounds absolutely fantastic a Thank bit you. later on. Uh, but we have to talk about this kind of, but not really, Friends reunion that happened last night. Right. Um, tribute mm. to James Burroughs, who of course yes. directed Friends, and lots and lots of other sitcoms. Yes. So what happened then? Well, there was a tribute to him, yeah. and the Friends cast got together mm -hmm. to uh, show up to that tribute. But I was here rehearsing my play, so sure. I couldn't mm -hmm. go. No. Mm -hmm. So I did a little taped interview, and I introduced them. Is oh, very what nice. I did. Yeah. So I was a part of it, but yeah, I couldn't be there because I was rehearsing my play here. Fair yeah. enough. Well, there Busy was, man. There was a lovely uh, photograph taken of lots of stars that turned up there. And you can, oh, that's you can see there you go. Look, all, yeah. all your friends from the past. Look, so, I'm not in that picture. Well, no, no. <laughs> 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 we were going to try and get a screen grab of that little message, but when you, when you see all of those folk there, does that give a little sparkle, do you think? Do you know what? There is life in the old friends. Oh, yes, I love all those guys. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, chance again? So, there's a chance. Potential of another? There's always a possibility. Yeah, it's talked about a lot. There's hmm. always a chance. I think the actors would maybe be into doing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I'm, an, I'm maybe the number one Friends fan. Really? In the world. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> and I sort of think it was so good... Do we want to mess with it? Well, that's the problem, you see, because it was it ended on a very high note. It did. Very mm. high so note. So if we made mm. something that was crap... Yeah. <laughs> well, if, you, if you're not feeling it, Matthew... It would Matthew, ruin the memory it of it. Sure. Yeah. But then there's the argument you don't know unless you try it. That is true, but yeah. if you're not so feeling anyway. it, don't do it. Yeah, we'll see. We've oh. held off long and quite, quite a while. OK. But then it could be... Gosh, uh, I'm could confused, go on I don't know. Let's just park <laughs> anyway, it. Central park we'll talk it. more. Central park it. Back with my buddy Chris, who I grew up with and I've known since the third grade. Right. And we're now palling around oh, and hanging great. out, which is really nice. Well, that's good, because you've got lots of time in London at the minute. You're here until March the 14th. Mm -hmm. so it's May good 14th. To have a, May, May, May sorry, 14th. 14th. So it's yeah. good to have a friend, um, yes. because you've written this brand new play, The yes. End of Longing. Yes. Um, it's about four friends... But it's not, it's not just friendship, is it? It gives people hope. It's about the complexities of friendship. Yeah, it's a, it's a play about um, four people who are... In, it's sort of the friend's generation, actually. It's people in their 30s and 40s sort of longing for love and relationships. And it's about four pretty broken people trying to fix themselves in order to find love. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, I mean, you've written lots of things in the past, but this is really your debut as a, as a, as a playwright. This is the first thing I've ever written by myself. Right. I've written yeah. things with a partner before, the TV mm -hmm. shows, The Odd Couple that I'm doing now in mm -hmm. the States. Yeah. I wrote the, co-wrote the first episode. But this is the first thing that I've ever just sat down and yeah. wrote myself. And how do you think you fell upon this storyline? Being your first one. I'm not sure how it all happened. I just sort of started writing and then just didn't stop until okay, it was finished. Okay, it just finished. came out. Didn't yeah, it, it just right. sort of flew out of me. Mm -hmm. I mean, the notes we had, it said you wrote it in an extremely short space of time. Is that true? I did write it very quickly. Like in but... ten hours? No, no, no. Not ten hours. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I thought that was you that know, egg make, in the pudding. That would make for a very bad play. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, ten days, maybe. It was it ten days ten that days. I wrote it, but I've been rewriting it for about yeah. a year now. Mm -hmm. So you, you said you've done West End. I mean, you've acted on the West End stage before, but yeah. this is the first play that you've written. Which of those firsts is the most nerve-wracking for you? I think I'm most... I'm, I'm very nervous about opening night of this yeah. play because I'm starring in it and wrote it. So I'm oh, yes. sort of wearing two hats and I'm very invested in hoping that people like it and, mm. yeah, you yeah. know, so the first night it, on February 2nd is our first preview night and that's the first night we go in front of an audience and I'll be pretty nervous that night. Sure, I bet. But really, which, which part of the whole process do you think that you've, you've enjoyed the most then? It's been really fun watching the other actors do the words that I wrote. Yeah. That's been really yeah, fun. Bet. And we've got a really talented group of people that are in the play and a really mm -hmm. talented cast and it's been really that's part of it it's been really fun mm -hmm. there's one right there there's <laughs> <laughs> and you you say that you play sort of not yourself obviously but an exaggerated version of yourself. yes so which qualities would you say have you taken from you and put them into the play but bigger well i play a drunk Right. In the play. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's been well documented that I've had my issues yeah. with that in the past. So, uh, but it's a much different type of drunk and it's a much okay. exaggerated form of myself. Yeah. Uh, it's not autobiographical or anything. Mm -hmm. There, there I am rehearsing. Look how good a time I'm having. <laughs> <laughs> Look how much fun I'm having. <laughs> and what do you hope then at the end of the day that people 
take away from all of this? Because obviously you've been through this whole process. Yeah. This, this, this play came from somewhere. You've put it on. You want people to see it here in London. And I honestly, it sounds very cliche, but I hope people laugh and cry at, right. the, at the play. It's uh, it's there's some very poignant moments in it, and some dramatic moments and funny yeah. moments. And I hope they have a huge range of emotions and leave the theater talking about it. Is it one of those though when you won't know whether to laugh or not because of the tragedy that's within it? Uh, well, hopefully you'll know when to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully you'll know when to cry. OK. Well, we'll have to find All right, out. well, it's on from um, February the 2nd, which we're really looking forward to. Yes, thank you. OK, and you're going to hang out with your mate in London. I am going to hang out with you're my gonna mate. You're going to have a good time. We're going to have fun. Okay. I'm going to go on the London Eye, which I've oh, yes, been on. Oh, yes, very good. Let me tell you. Yeah? London Dungeon. What, London that's, Dungeon. That's where you need to go. It's a brilliant. That sounds theater. very naughty. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I don't. I don't work for them or anything, but it is a good day out. It's okay. quite scary. All yeah, right. it's not the dungeon you think it yeah. is. Yeah. Okay. You know. All right. <laughs> um, anyway. On the other hand, Butterfly World, which is just outside of the M25, that's good. very Pull much worth a visit. Pull it yeah. back. <laughs> uh, the end of Long Inn opens on the second, as we said, at yes. the Playhouse Theatre yes. in London. The Playhouse, yes. Theater, to have that as your Beautiful first theater. venue. Beautiful theatre. Yes. What did you think when you walked in there? I thought it was it? big. And yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's a big place. It. Right. Beautiful. Beautiful. And Beautiful. I guess you haven't moved into there yet, have you? Just no, we move in on Saturday. Okay. Yeah. Well, listen. We wish you all the very best. Thank you.